Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover, and I'm pretty excited today to be opening up my new Starlink. But uh, let me take, a, take you through the opening of the box and uh, show you a little bit of what it looks like and why I decided on this version over the other version with the motors that would actually align uh, the satellite dish for you. I would say the major consideration for me is this is a little bit smaller and thinner to pack up. Um, the other thing I like about Starlink is that um, you can pause the service. So when I'm not doing a lot of traveling in the summertime out in the desert, I could just pause the service so it's not going on. Um, currently, right now, this dish can only be purchased with the Roam plan, and that, uh, as of today, is $150 a month. And um, so you can pause that. So when you look at it for a total year, if you're using it maybe six months of the year versus if you buy a cell plan that you're just committed to paying every month, well, I would say that uh, setup was really relatively painless. Took a little bit of time to set up the network name and password and get the thing running. It did, uh, it did update a couple times before it let me do that. Um, but uh, really simple, not too difficult to do. Um, so I'll uh, report back in a couple weeks when I'm out in Anza Borrego it, off the grid. And I did get some good uh, connection speeds today. I'll post a uh, screenshot here for you, just so you kind of know. Uh, took a couple drone shots too to give you an idea where I set the panel. I'll probably use the uh, roof rack to set the panel most of the time. Uh, so I hope this has uh, been helpful to you. Uh, please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more about Starlink or overlanding. And uh, remember, get outside. This is Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. Have a great day.